How would you describe the emotional roller coaster of Saturday's game? You know, it was unbelievable. Uh, you know, in the moment, uh, you thought back to all the things that we've done to build a program to, to what it was. And that was just the, the joy of uh, our, our players getting the reward, um, the joy in their face. Uh, and so that was a real emotion for me after that game because it was just an unbelievable experience. The kids believed. Uh, they put the work in. And uh, I was just proud, uh, you know, for our program and our players. Take me into the locker room at halftime. I told the players, you know, this is right where we wanted to be. Uh, this is right where we expected to be. Um, you know, we are a physical football team, so the physicality uh, never bothers me. Uh, you know, we're big on the offensive and defensive line. And so all week I told them, you know, we're going to be right where we want to be in this game from a physical standpoint if we handle the environment early. And our first kickoff return, we let the ball bounce and got the ball at the two-yard line. I thought, <laughs> hey, this, this, this has a chance to get away from us. Um, but they stayed in the fight. And when we got to halftime, I said, listen, if we win one half of football, we win the game. And uh, we were able to get that done. But you're telling these kids they're in South Bend playing against Notre Dame. Most of them probably didn't even get recruited by Notre Dame. And you got to quiet them down a little, calm them down a little bit, but you still want them to be fired up. So how do you walk that tightrope there? Yeah, you know, the night before the game, uh, I talked to him. I said, listen, the Rocket Ismail is not running down that tunnel. And uh, <laughs> by the look on their face, I, I realized they had no idea who I was talking about. So then I had to take it a step further. I said, you know, Joe Montana, uh, Ricky Waters, uh, Jerome Bettis. And so they, they understood those guys. Um, but uh, I guess what I wanted them to understand was we were playing the 2024 Notre Dame team. We, we're not playing the, the nostalgia of Notre Dame. And, uh, and they, 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 they stayed in a moment uh, from that standpoint, and, and I was happy to see it. You should have showed them the movie Rudy. You know what? I thought about that early in the week, but then I thought Rudy came out when I was a kid. So I know for sure – uh, you know, they have no idea what Rudy was about. <laughs> it hits you right after the game. You got emotional. Yes. Uh, you know, because I talked to our team before the season about the breakthrough. And I told them a bamboo takes five years to break through the surface. And when it breaks through the surface, it grows 90 feet. Well, this is our sixth year. Uh, we've done a lot of watering uh, and a lot of, you know, getting these guys to mature. And that felt like we started to break through at that moment. And I was just, uh, you know, flushed with a wave of emotions that was unexpected. I'm normally not an emotional guy in that capacity. Uh, but I thought about all the players that that have been a part of helping us build it, all the coaches that have been a part of helping us build it. And uh, it, it was a great moment. Well, it feels like the college football nation is surprised. It doesn't feel like you're surprised you beat Notre Dame at Notre Dame. No, I, I wasn't surprised. And, and to take it a step further, you know, I meet with my staff on, uh, you know, game day in the mornings. And I told them, I said, listen, I had a dream. We were going to win this game by a field goal. I, I, no, I said I had a dream. The game was going to come down to a field goal. And I said, I woke up. So I can't tell you <laughs> what happened. Uh, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm, not that, uh, I'm not that good. But I, I had a dream that it came down to a field goal. And the week before, we had some issues on, um, you know, extra point. And so... I had that nervousness going about me, um, but I'm glad it turned out the way it did. 